Right. They need to be quick so they don't have to butcher the whole bird. Okay, they just need to remove what they need. For me, it's the crown. This is a really interesting challenge because you've got the head on, you've got the claws on there, you've got all the innards are still inside. So the skill is really how to work around that little bird. If our chefs have not prepped a pigeon before, they should just treat it like any other bird, the chicken. It's got two wings, it's got two legs, it's got the innards. The principle's the same. I want to keep the offal, which is the heart and the livers. There's a really good flavour in these pigeons and they'd be great accompaniment to the dish. Now this, I would hope they would leave for a sauce. So I have the crown, I just want to remove everything that we don't want. What would happen if they roasted it and they didn't remove all the offal? Would it impair the flavour of the breasts? It becomes quite bitter. So that's my pigeon prepared. It takes a couple of minutes, if that. Yeah, about three minutes. They have to prep it properly before they start cooking. I want the pigeon nicely seasoned. And we want the pan hot enough that it's going to colour the bird, but it's not going to burn it. One of the things our chefs need to be very careful is if they're going to colour it on top of the stove, if there's a little bit of open flesh that's being shown, you have to be very careful, very delicate, because it'll just dry straight away. For me, it's going to be about three minutes on each side, and then a couple more minutes on the actual back of the bird, and then out to rest. While the pigeon is cooking, I'm going to prepare the rest of, of my garnish. I'm going to be really interested to see where our chefs go with this, because there's some very interesting ingredients down there. And you want the ingredients to work in harmony with the pigeon breast. I'm going to use the dandelion that we have here, some chicory and some mushrooms as well. Love that. All brown and glossy. Yeah. I really hope they don't overcook it. It's nothing more disappointing than a bit of dried up pigeon. If that's not cooked properly, this dish won't work. This is all the flavours from the pigeon that's in that pan. Now, this one here, I want to use this to cook my offal. What I've reduced down here is some veal stock with the cooking juices from the pigeon. Everything about that pigeon being cooked in the oven is now in those two pans coming together. The butter, the flavour, all the herbs, the garlic. Now you've got the offal. And then in go the mushrooms as well. We created a whole garnish from that cooking pan. That's the way we were trained. We were taught that stove work, using everything that's within the pan. It looks great. It smells amazing. So I've rested my pigeon for about four minutes. The juices are going to flow. It becomes more tender. It's pink throughout. I didn't use any timers. It's all about touch, smell, taste and feel. Are you having fun there, chef? I am. You're supposed to eat when you cook. Now you've got to taste. And make sure it's right, especially with you two. Oh, come on. Really interesting presentation style. Very imaginative. I don't think a chef's will be dressing plates quite like that. And that's it.